Hi, my name is Matthew Scott from SHS International. I'm going to be speaking to my colleague Owen Brennan today about Crohn's disease. So, what is Crohn's disease, Owen? Crohn's disease is one of a number of conditions that co are collectively known as inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, speaking of Crohn's disease in particular, um, as a, it's, it's an inflammatory bowel disease, so you get redness, pain and swelling of your gastrointestinal tract. With Crohn's disease, um, that infl inflammation, the redness, the pain, the swelling can occur anywhere in the gastrointestinal tract, from the mouth down to the anus, although typically it tends to affect uh, two sites more than others, and they would be the terminal ileum, which is the last part of your small intestine, and the perianal region. Um, Crohn's disease, another point of interest is that it's a disease of relapse and remission. And what I mean by that is that you get flare-ups of the disease and then it dies down before it flares up again. The problem with Crohn's disease is sometimes that when it's gone into remission and it's settled down a bit, um, the person gets another relapse or flare-up before they've had a chance to recover from their previous relapse. And, and how, how do you get Crohn's disease? Unfortunately, nobody knows how you get Crohn's disease. Um, there's a lot of research in that area at the moment. Um, it is, Crohn's disease is thought to be on the rise. Um, it's thought to be due to a number of different factors, um, in particular your, your genes or genetic material and, and what's happening in your environment, but nobody knows exactly what causes it. All right. Now, it's called Crohn's disease. Is it contagious? Um, no, Crohn's disease isn't contagious. Uh, how is Crohn's treated? Okay, Crohn's disease can be treated in a number of different ways. Um, I, I mentioned earlier that Crohn's disease is a remission, is a disease of relapse and remission. So you get flare-ups and then the disease settles down. So regardless of how you treat Crohn's disease, the same principle apply. Basically, if someone's having a flare-up, you want to get that flare-up settled as quickly as possible. And once the person's in remission or if their disease is settled, you want to keep them in remission for as long as possible. In terms of actually doing that, there's three options. Drugs, surgery, or diet. Um, surgery really would be a last resort because surgery doesn't really stop the disease coming back and the disease can pop up in other places. So really you wouldn't use surgery unless you'd no other choice. So that leaves us really with drugs and diet. Uh, the main category of drugs used in Crohn's disease is the type of drug known as corticosteroids. Um, the problem with corticosteroids, as with basically all the drugs that are used in Crohn's disease, is they all um, come with a set of side effects. Uh, typically, the longer you're on the drugs and the higher the doses, the worse the side effects get, which is why dietary therapy um, of Crohn's disease can be so beneficial because there are research papers showing that dietary therapy can be just as effective as drugs in treating Crohn's disease, but has none of the side effects that you get with drugs. Right. Now, is it treated the same from country to country, or do different countries prefer to go for diet and other countries prefer to go for drugs? Or Different countries have different approaches, and even in the same country there can be variation depending on the, uh, the exact patient group that's being treated. Um, I think in most countries um, dietary therapy is more likely to be used in the paediatric setting, so in, in children. And the reason why dietary therapy is more commonly used in children than in adults is because the side effects of drugs tend to be more profound in, in children than they are in adults. For example, um, in children some of the side effects of drugs can be stunted growth. So children don't grow as tall as they should, um, it can delay their entry into puberty and it can lead to bone disease as well. Um, and all of those things put together make doctors more likely to use dietary therapy for children than in adults. Um, however, dietary therapy still has a lot of benefits for adults. Um, but yeah, going back to your original question, uh, th there is variation in how Crohn's disease is treated from country to country, and in some countries it's a lot easier to get dietary therapy from your doctor than in others. Right, and, and the final and most important question, I suppose, is, is there a cure? Unfortunately, no, there, there's not a cure for Crohn's disease, but there's a lot of research going on at the moment trying to find a cure. What I can say, however, is that Crohn's disease um, can be successfully managed, be it with diet or, or be it with drugs. 
and once it's successfully managed, um, there's you know there's a lot of people out there with Crohn's disease who live um, quite normal lives once once they get on top of their Crohn's disease. Brilliant. Well, I found it very useful information. I hope everybody else does. Thank you, Owen. Okay.